there is something is about to happen kuna kitu kinaenda kutendeka in the world katika dunia the lord came to me today bana kaja kwangu leo and he said to me to say to everyone who can listen to this it has to reach everywhere everyone to listen to this lazima ifike kwa kila mtu asikie hii there is a crisis kuna shida coming to the world na kuja duniani rice dryness it's coming to the world europe will be affected europa itapigwa america will be affected america pia wataguzwa the only place i saw le mahali niliona becoming ikawa a provision place mahali pa msaada for food kwa chakula jose africa Listen to me. Excuse me. Put these words everywhere. Weka Put timing, kitabu. write it on paper. Andika kwa kitabu karatasi. If you doubt of this, kama unatia shaka, you see it coming to pass. Utaona ikitendeka. It will be news. Itakuwa katika it habari. It will be everywhere. Itakuwa kila mahali. Crisis which will be worldwide. Shida ambayo itakuwa dunia kote. But the only place lakini mahali tu that have seen food ambao nikaona chakula been taken outside ikitolewa ikienda nje it was africa ilikuwa ni africa then i heard the voice of the lord saying to me shabasi nikasikia sauti ya bwana how can africa africa namna gani take food outside peane chakula if they have not learned kama hawajifunza the principles of sowing masharti ya kupanda and of farming na pia ya ukuzi na ukulima when it will come wakati itafika may it find you farming ikupate wewe ukifanya ukulima Science will hear me people who have economic mind and thought they will say this is impossible. Watu watasema iwezekani. But God has spoken. Lakini Mungu amesema. It's coming. Itatendeka. Kenya. 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 Start farming. Anza ukulima. Keep food. Weka chakula because before it to happen. Maana kabla itendeke. There will be a serious harvest takuwa na mavuno when the harvest take place mavuno ikifanyika the harvest keep it weka because there is a time coming maana kuna shida food ina. will be needs watahitaji chakula fishes fish watahitaji samaki and things watahitaji vitu will be needs watahitaji God spoke to Joseph. Mungu akamnenea Yusufu. For the next seven years, kwa miaka saba ijayo, gather food. Kusanya chakula. Because the other seven years coming, maana miaka saba ijayo, there will not be food. Hapa atakuwa na chakula. So those who are wise, they will be very very blessed. Ndio na hekima basi watabarikiwa. When that time comes, wakati hiyo wakati itafika, you will dominate. Utatawala. We've now consumed everything the earth could produce in a year in the space of seven months. 
Known as Earth Overshoot Day, it calculates the point at which humanity consumes more than the Earth can replenish. We fished too much fish, destroyed too many trees, and cultivated more food than the Earth can sustain. It's a date that's been getting earlier every year. In 1971, it was in December. This year, it's the 29th of July. Some countries hit that date before the summer. Qatar used up all its resources in February, and the United States wasn't far behind. France reached its limit in May, but even the lowest consuming countries like Indonesia still don't quite manage to make it till the end of the year. Fishes, fish, and things will be needs. We fished too much fish. Europe will be affected. Europa itapigwa. America will be affected. America pia wataguzwa. Kenya. 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 Start farming. Anza ukulima. Keep food. Weka chakula. Because before it to happen, Manakabla itendeke. there will be a serious harvest. Na mavuno. When the harvest take place, mavuno the harvest, keep it. Weka. Because there is a time coming. Kuna shida food ina. will be needed. Fishes, fish, samaki. and things vitu. will be needed.